ladies and gentlemen, this is the Envoy of the Kairos. Back for more Kirby. I just got done with editing a ridiculously huge video over the weekend. Pokemon Presents is coming past. And now it's time for us to get to Zone 3. Always need a good water level, and... Surprisingly enough, Kirby's water levels tend to not suck. Hmm, what do we have tucked down here? Okay, that was just another way to... what I was already going to be doing regardless. It is a decently designed hub, though. Just hoping I can finally get that mech power up on this stage. This is always a useful power here. And considerably powerful. Oh. That's not a mechanic I remember. I'll take ice. those giant ones. Hmm. Still no spheres. Kirby, why are you always at your most brutal when riding the Warp Star? section is nice, but again... Here we are. Wait, no. This doesn't give me one either. Where the hell are they? Oh god, Barracuda. Oh, 
There it is. Finally. Ow. Taking way too many hits. Okay, verticality on this power is nice. Laser's good. Still no spheres. Ooh, it's got landmines. Okay, that's just a dead end down there. Got a fire attack, good. Don't remember that B enemy. And it looks like they're most likely a result in the spear curvy though. Okay, hopefully this leads to that first sphere. And this late in the level, only finding one. You know, there's probably going to be tucked behind a sphere doomer. Best I recall, the Superstar version of the Ice Power shows up at the end of this level, I think. Yep, definitely Ice. There you are. Sucks to drop mech, but... Gotta give this a shot. I forgot just how utterly devastating this is. And then it Katamari's all my enemies up. Watching them smack on the screen is just great. Castle. Next. Portal. Ah, I knew there'd be something tucked in that last one.
All right. What kind of doomer is it going to be this time? Close on this one. Ah. The health ain't gonna be looking too good by the time I get to this doomer. Oh shit. Come on, get down there. Don't have time to pick those up. And I'm through. Okay. It did give me some health, so that's good. No way I'm taking a tornado. A tornado is terrible for boss fights. It doesn't matter what Kirby game it is either. Every Kirby game. Tornado is terrible for boss fights. There we go. They got fucked. And we're off. That's one zone down. And I'll be taking this back, thank you. What is zone three done? No, oh, that sucked. on to stage two right away. Ah. I forgot those little crabs had that good of a reach. I feel like Kirby's water attack got buffed. Because I swear it used to take two shots for him to take anything out of this. Which is a sensation that I really think only Kirby can give me, because usually I'm fucking terrified of deep water. In just about any game. 
very few things ever gave me more anxiety than the lake surrounding the, I believe, fourth Colossus in Shadow of the Colossus. At least in the lake that actually contained a Colossus in the water itself, you could see the Colossus there. You knew exactly what was in that water. And it was horrifying, but you could at least still clearly see what it was. And they got Trump fast. And I would want to keep Mech, but I'm sure I'm gonna need this blade up ahead. Yeah. If I had people to do multiplayer with, I could get Meta Knight in here. I would gladly have them on the party. So Kirby could just keep Mech. For the whole game, if at all possible. I mean, Dedede would have stone and hammer puzzles covered. Meta Knight would have cutter and sword puzzles covered. And I'm pretty sure DVD has a good fire attack, too. Doesn't really have range, but... It's still good for solving a pretty wide variety of fire puzzles. Spear. It's a pretty decent power. The range is good in boss fights. It's good for survivability. much with survivability, because I'm just bad at avoiding damage. I've always been one of those players that uh, specializes in trying to deal as much damage as I can before the amount I take matters. I forgot about this thing. I completely forgot about this thing. that to the water. Thank <laughs> you. 
sure there's another puzzle that requires this thing up ahead. Yep. And this contains an alternate route that will probably get me one of the spheres. If it's not... if they're not tucked behind. Oh, no. They're separate, so... No doomers this level. Oh god, the giant fucking mores. I'm pretty sure we all had enough of these things with Mario. Ah, you dickhead crap. That almost sounds like something someone would try to give an actual crab species as its scientific name out of spite. Kind of like the jackass penguin. That actually reminds me of a great story for the channel. Um, so I was in elementary and one of my cousins that lived across the street from me was three grades above me, but they tried to do frequent collaborative classes and projects between grades. So I ended up working with my cousin while I was in first grade on a project. It's supposed to be a little zoological study. Looking into animals we were unfamiliar with to share them with the class. And my cousin, just wanting to cause shit, decided to choose the jackass penguin as our study for the class. Resulting in the teachers just immediately silencing us and me getting in deep shit when I got home for it, despite not having any idea what I did wrong. That cousin was a bit of an asshole. Well, now that that story is done and that level is done, I'm gonna be calling this one here, and next time we'll be taking on stages three and four, and maybe topping it off with the boss. Or eh, probably do the boss and the challenge stage I unlocked before we move on to the fourth zone. This is the Envoy of Kairos signing out, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode. Later, guys.